everybody, and welcome to the Wine It Up a Notch podcast, a podcast where we focus on bringing wine to life, talking about wine, life, and everything in between. Welcome to the second episode of this podcast. If you're tuning in for the first time, I am a complete newbie at doing this, but really excited to be engaging in a podcast and bringing hopefully some good and amusing content to you. If you listened in on episode one, you'll know that this has been a longtime dream of mine. And I love wine. I love to talk about wine and how it affects life and how it ties to life. While I figure this out, I hope you'll enjoy the content that I'm bringing your way. Today, I thought I would start by talking about a topic that is really near and dear to my heart. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that one of the topics that I love to talk about outside of wine is meditation and by extension, spirituality. Now that may be a little bit woo-woo for some people, especially the spirituality part. So Let's just focus on meditation and why I think it's important. Several years ago, I started to practice meditation a little bit more seriously. Prior to this stage, I grew up a Hindu in a household that was religious and spiritual and certainly was exposed to the notion of, you know, taking care of oneself and one's spiritual self, particularly through the practice of meditation. However, I had not done a lot of meditation myself. A couple of years ago, as I neared middle age um, and came closer and closer to more difficult situations in my life, I felt that I needed to find a way to, you know, tap into myself and calm calm myself down and learn to be a little bit more level-headed. And that's really where my practice of meditation started. I have tried a lot of different things, including visualization meditation. I've tried loving kindness meditation. I've tried to just sit by myself and, you know, try to get my mind not to think Um, All of those things can work, but I find for beginners, they can be difficult. And so what I settled on that worked really well for me, and I would like to share in case you want to start a meditation practice or restart a meditation practice after feeling you haven't been that successful, is I started using the Calm app. Now, let me say I am not being paid by Calm in any way. I'm not affiliated with Calm at this stage. I just love that app. The other app that I've heard a lot of people talk about is Headspace, and I've dabbled in it a little bit. I think it's good as well. But my point here is just to say that having some sort of guidance or a teacher of some sort is really useful when you're starting to meditate. And these apps are designed to make it easy and it's almost somewhat fun, to be honest, to sit down and meditate. So using the Calm app, you know, you can set up a meditation that's 10 minutes, it's guided, Uh, You can do that on a daily basis or do it a couple of times a week, whatever suits you. But you are essentially, through a teacher's voice, guided as to what to do. And it's a great way to start to get comfortable with meditation as a practice. I've since progressed to being able to meditate without an app, although I do still go back to the app from time to time. Oftentimes at the end of a meditation, it comes with some really great teachings and quotations and sayings that can be very helpful in a day. Um, So I like to still use the app, but I do find myself more drawn to silent sitting, just being by myself, with myself, uh, going into my center, feeling my feelings, and then realizing that I transcend all of those things and that I am able to handle anything that comes my way. And that is ultimately the real benefit of meditation. Life throws a lot of different curveballs and challenges at all of us, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. Sometimes it's so overwhelming, we don't even know that it's overwhelming and what we may be doing to ourselves or others in a day to get by. And through the practice of meditation, one can become more aware of themselves and also those around them. And I've found it certainly helps to be able to deal with what's coming up in a day in a more healthy and grounded and centered fashion. So let me close by saying, I think meditation is a really important tool in one's toolkit uh, of life and a way to get through life. I highly recommend it. If you can find a way to incorporate it into your life, my mom always used to say even a few breaths or a few moments a day count. And I firmly believe that. And I think what you would find is the more you practice um, and work through those hurdles and impediments that keep you from practicing, the more you want to meditate and the further you go the calmer and more centered you become. So it's a beautiful cycle uh, and I hope to continue to explore it for myself. I hope that some of you are exploring it already or will choose to after listening to this. Now tying this back to wine, what does meditation have to do with wine? Well, I'm not sure that there's much I can say that ties meditation and wine together directly. 
However, indirectly, I want to talk about the experience of drinking wine. For some people, drinking wine is just a activity. It's something that they do with their friends or they do at parties or they may do it, you know, at a wine tasting or a dinner. But for others, and I would put myself in this category, drinking wine can actually be a, a deep meditation and a meditative experience. If done in a certain way, the sensory impacts and the time that's spent with the wine is in fact very grounding, centering, and calming. And you are focusing on that glass of wine that's in front of you and really enjoying that, thereby sort of losing yourself in that moment and not getting caught up in what happened yesterday, earlier in a meeting, all the things on your to-do list or what you want to accomplish tomorrow. Um, and that is very similar to what you know the practice of meditation also drives us to achieve. Um, so in that way, I do actually find wine and enjoying wine to be a very meditative experience if I want it to be. For anybody who wants to enjoy wine that way, my tips would be find a quiet space to enjoy your wine perhaps play some music that really soothes you or that you enjoy listening to, and then pour your wine into your glass slowly. Enjoy that movement of the liquid pouring into your glass. Swirl your wine, swirl it delicately. Look at the colors floating around in the glass, smell the aromas that are wafting out of the glass, really focus on that moment. Then as you bring the glass to your mouth and you take your first sip, savor that first sip. Try not to let other thoughts permeate your mind. Really just focus on what that wine tastes like and continue that as you experience um, various layers in the wine, as you drink more of the wine. Really just focus in on that moment. Um, It's not always the easiest thing to do, especially if you're eating at the same time or you're with company. And that's why I think if you want to turn the practice of drinking wine into a meditative experience for yourself from time to time, it's a good thing to do Um, on your own, in a quiet space where you have the time to focus and really delve into the wine that you are spending time with. It's also a beautiful way to learn more about wine and, you know, learning more about the sensory aspects of a wine is a very important aspect of becoming a professional in wine or learning wine better if you just want to do that recreationally. So in my mind, it kills two birds with one stone. It lets you actually focus in on the wine not only to learn more about wine, but also to calm and soothe yourself and appreciate the nature, the beauty, the love that's in that wine um, and have a, a wonderful time with it. And with that, I will close this episode of the Wine It Up a Notch podcast. I hope that you have enjoyed this little tidbit, this time that you've taken out of your day. I'm really grateful that you've chosen to spend it listening to this. And I will see you at the next episode. Hopefully between now and then, you'll have a chance to either sit down and practice meditation a few times or enjoy your wine in a meditative way and have a meditative experience with your wine. Wishing you love and light. Cheers. Cheers.